The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Welcome back, folks. You get the Dow. Dow finished up 272, NASDAQ up 84, S&P's up 37. Gold, gold contract flat, 1988 an ounce. Get silver up 10 cents, $25.31 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 86, $76.62 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 21 ticks, trading 115.13. The 30 year up a full point plus 13 ticks at 131.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar. Where are you? Uh, up 141.6, 101.649, the euro at 110, the yen at 136, and the British pound at 125 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the indices, folks. Bottom line, SPY wants to go to the next swing point, and the uh, Qs are an ABC up. You know, we can, uh, even when we put this on a weekly basis, you're going to see that swing is just hanging out there. We get Apple coming out with numbers next week. I suspect that'll probably do it. Um, the swing that's laying out there is the 418 inside the, the SPY. And the, and, the X, and the Qs, rather, what you have with the Qs, the Qs on the weekly basis did take out your swing, took it out with volume. That's an ABC structure up. It's a, it's a big ABC up, too, by the way. Um, you know, your next swing out there in the Qs is 334. And right now you're at 322. We go to the gold contract, we take a look at gold. Gold had a sideways week out here, which is, which is not bad. Uh, dollars did the same thing. You know, gold is trading 1997. Uh, what you had with the dollar is that the dollar couldn't hold price once again out here today. And as I said just a little prior to closing the show, what the dollar hasn't been able to do is hold price. And each one of these swings have been lower, you know, since the last high that was established out here in the middle of February. That was where the 106 high came in. You get the push up, can't get to the swing point, gets down. Push up, can't get a swing point, gets down. Does the exact same thing. Notes and bonds now, this is where this is going to get interesting because next week we have the Fed meeting on May 3rd and the notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. So this is going to be really intriguing watching you know, how this baby shakes out, because I believe it's uh, February 3rd. Let's see. Uh, February 3rd. Um, May 3rd. Yeah, May 3rd. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.